Welcome to the Dummy Kruger channel everyone. Today's video takes us to Tucson, Arizona to check in on two independent journalists working on an explosive top secret story. They were eventually arrested on multiple charges. We have now obtained the outcome for one of our brave freedom fighters, complete with courtroom footage. In this video, we will begin by showcasing their arrests, followed up by the judge's review of the verdict and sentence. The video will conclude with reflections some may say veiled threats, shared by one of our dedicated protectors of the First Amendment. I've had to break this video up into two parts due to the length, with the second part coming out tomorrow. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, and comment below. This is a wild one, folks, so buckle up. Let's jump right in. I'm going to call back on the board and attach me to 4905. 10-4. Get away from the car so they don't know where we park. For clarification, the man in the black tee, who goes by the YouTube channel Pigs Under Pressure, is the activist whose court case just concluded. The journalist behind the camera, whose name is completely unbiased for such an esteemed media member, goes by the moniker Tucson Police Suck. His court date will be sometime in December. Every time you hear these guys say they are promoting transparency, remember what Pigs Under Presser just said. He was getting no response for about 15 minutes, so he happily proclaims, quote, I'm going to go over and talk shit to them. Why? Because they like yelling at public employees they feel have power over them. It typically has very little to do with accountability. Uh, I just want a good shot of the vehicle. Where's the vehicle at? We have our vehicles right here. No, the vehicle that's uh, the guy's in. We have no clue what you're talking about. Man. Oh, so you're not here doing nothing? There's no reason to tape it off then, right? No, there's a, there's no vehicle involved. There's a, there's a suspect that got shot? There's, we, no, there's no suspect that got shot. Okay, okay. Just All checking, right. brother. So, I, won't go any, I won't come any closer. You're good. You're good. No, we just want to tape it right Cool. Here. Tear it up. Everybody okay? Everybody come out of here un unscathed? I'm talking about you guys. Oh, yeah, we're good. That's good. Hi, what's your name? What's your name? Walter Chandler. You are now allowed to be here per their management. They want you off property. If you refuse to leave off property, I'm going to arrest you. That's terrible. So you went solicited a trespass, brother? How could you do that? I, you, I'm a guest here. What are you here. talking about? I'm here with a friend. How, how are you going to go solicit you, a trespass? I'm here with friends staying at what? At a residence here. Oh, yeah. Address. These two aren't residents or have an affiliation with any of the tenants in this apartment complex. Just 25 minutes prior to this scene, they were listening to a police scanner and drove there when they heard shots fired. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... Give me one second. Are you a resident here? What's your name He's with me. I will. Okay. So what address are you staying at? I'm not gonna give you his address. Okay, so you're staying... No, that doesn't mean anything to me. Well, no, what's, what you're what's saying your doesn't address, mean anything sir? Why did you get me trespassed? For what reason? I was just asking this gentleman nicely. Was I rude in any way? I will way? in a second. No, no, What's he doing then? Okay, cool. We're going to be that way. The manager said that she doesn't want you on a property, so you're going to... I, I would like to... Uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Here, you're, you're told to leave. You're trespassing. They didn't want you on property. Bro! The reason why there was such a large police presence on this day is that there were reports of a gunshot coming from inside this apartment complex. It was later determined to be a self-inflicted gunshot resulting in a man's death. Let's now switch back to Tucson Police Sucks' point of view. Hello, oh, sir. How you doing? You're trying to put me in tape here. Walking just fine. Stop. Stop. You could never do this without that little pussy back. Here, here, here. Take these off too, then. Take these off too, then. What do you want to be here? You're getting off. You're getting off on this, not me. You're asked to leave. You're Talk, get this shit on film right here. You're live streaming. Good. Check this out, everybody. This mother stole my phone. He tried to solicit a trespass. Look at these, look at these handcuffs. They're terrible, man. No matter how many times these auditors say, quote, they solicit a trespass, it still isn't a thing. 
I will unfortunately have to keep repeating this until it is no longer said by them. While the cameraman makes his way off the property, Pigs Under Pressure remains cuffed speaking with the officers. It's unclear what exactly happened with him during this time period, as there is no footage that captured it. After a few minutes, however, he is released and I'm guessing just let go with a warning. Hey, Piggy! Tucson, please suck! Tucson, please suck! Stupid fat Piggy! I said, Tucson, please suck, boy. Yeah, who you calling boy, bitch? Piggy! Get the here. You, you get the f out of here. Hey, buddy, I tell you what, get you're not f out of here. You what? Trust me, I'm or on a what? public sidewalk. Or what? I'm on a sidewalk, boy. Piggy! This man here was actually one of the two complainants during Pigs Under Pressure's trial. It turns out, a lot was happening that wasn't caught on camera, including a threat from Pigs Under Pressure that he claimed he was going to retrieve his firearm. More of that is discussed during the trial. I got some body cam. You just assaulted me. Come on. You come do it again then. Come and do it again. On a public sidewalk. And this is where Pigs Under Pressure comes back into the scene, freshly out of set of handcuffs, ready to jump into the fray. What he is? Yeah, he's a little. Hey, come out here! Come on, let's get back in your house. I'm calling you. Yeah. What's up, princess? What's up, princess? What's up, princess? Go listen to your. Bro, you're not gonna disrespect law enforcement. He just, he just assaulted him. I'm a witness. Him. On a public sidewalk. Since this man testified in the Pigs Under Pressure trial, I was able to get his name. I searched for any charges related to this event against him. Unless he has an abnormal way of spelling his name, it doesn't look like he was ever charged with anything. We are on sidewalk. We we left the property a long time ago. I'm on a sidewalk. First Amendment, First Amendment protected. If you want to criminalize First Amendment protected activity, go right ahead. That now, though, what that guy did—that's a crime. He assaulted me. Come up. He is, he assaulted me. It's on live stream. A, a few, I don't even know how many people I ain't looked at watching it live, and I got it on my body cam. It's all got. It's all being downloaded, streamed up. You guys, even if you take my device, you ain't getting it. I ain't doing nothing. That guy came up and assaulted me. So you do your job, Tucson Piggies. You do your job. You are preventing us from helping this poor family. Well, go help him. I ain't doing nothing. Your being here is why. Help us help this family because we're here. We're not there. Yeah, well, go back there. Go back there and take your little with you that assaulted me. In instances involving serious events like shootings and loss of life, the focus of law enforcement is undeniably critical. However, the presence of these First Amendment auditors can often divert attention, complicating investigations even further. This is, and will continue to be, one of my main gripes with this group. Their activities, while sometimes legally protected, can draw police resources away from the primary investigation, often only making matters worse but they claim they are interested in, quote, we the people, when it often comes across as sheer selfishness. The bottom line is I'm on a public sidewalk and I'm allowed to be here. And if he wouldn't have assaulted me, I would have been out of here already. I can't hear you, speak up. It's so windy out here in the traffic, I can't hear you. Justine, guys, help us help this family out, Justine. Go help him out. Help him out and take your dog with you, there won't be a problem. The guy that assaulted me, if you take him back with you, and you put him in handcuffs, the problem's over. He hey, came he up and... Right there, right? He lives right there. Hey, he lives right there, right? Yeah. When when did he... just file a, we'll file, we'll file a, we'll file a lawsuit, man. You can run down. Dude, you look even worse saying that. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, just You're shut up. You're going to subpoena, you stupid. You don't want to attack people like that. I can't 
That's it. Bye, you guys. So, yeah, no, we're going to do... Is he going across me? The guy that slept out of my hand? Yeah. Okay, that's that fucking pig, man. Did you catch it? I believe pigs under pressure knew exactly what was about to come. All of a sudden, when the officer said this, All right, that's it. just happens to be the exact same time they decide to leave. However, it was too late. I was over here anyway. I was way over here. And I was actually both put her in there. Hey, somebody's calling us. This is the second time in 10 minutes that Tucson has bounced, leaving his foe freedom fighting buddy left to fend for himself. You put your hands behind your back. For so what? Because you're now being arrested for I was assaulted, sir. You're being arrested for disorderly conduct. I was assaulted. I wasn't being disorderly. Well, I was saying, Tucson, please suck when you arrested my well, friend. Let us investigate that. Well, investigate it. We have a guy you, saying that you guys were making a mess in front of him. I didn't do nothing. He I was standing there yelling at you guys. He has you guys went back special there. Needs. Put your hands so, behind your back. What, what, was I, what was my arrest for? What did I do that was disorderly? disorderly conduct. Did the guy that, is the you guy that yelling, insulted me? Yelling and insulting I was yelling at you guys. Tucson, please suck. Hang out, hang out. My boss says there's probable cause to make an arrest on you for disorderly That's the reason. What was I out. doing this disorderly? I was talking to you. I'm protesting. You gonna, this is First you Amendment you protected. Talk, so this is First Amendment you. protected. Are you going to let me talk? No, I don't think so. I don't want to let you talk. Put your hands on your back. I don't think so, guys. Tell you to put your hands on your back. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. So they were both eventually arrested and hit with the exact same charges. The first count is disorderly conduct, and the second count being criminal trespass in the third degree. And that's going to conclude part one of this video. Please make sure to come back tomorrow where we will watch courtroom footage and a judge, who in my opinion, dismantles a lot of their arguments about recording anything they'd like, no matter the situation, as well as dealing with trespassing on public property, because in the end, they were actually trespassed off the public sidewalk as well as the apartment complex. The judge brings forth a couple of different case laws that dismantle their whole, quote, I can't be trespassed off of public property, shtick. In the meantime, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. This is Dummy Kruger, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.